President Ramaphosa has appointed a new presiding officer for the inquiry into disciplinary charges against the suspended SARS Commissioner Tom Moyani. With more details on that, here's ENCA reporter Erin Bates. So initially it was a constitutional court judge Kato Regan, but she was removed. Why? So the lawyer for Tom Moyane sent a letter to Justice Kate O'Regan last week raising concerns over her membership on the board for Corruption Watch and cited in that letter very outspoken remarks from the head of Corruption Watch saying that Tom Moyane should be behind bars and that he is, on their allegations, a criminal. And they say that that presents bias and it presents a conflict of interest and therefore they're not confident. And Tom Moyane specifically wanted these issues to be raised, that he's not confident she can be unbiased in her heading up of the inquiry into his, his conduct. As a matter of interest, was there any response from her? Did she go willingly? Do we know that? Well, I have sent a letter to her and had her responses giving no conduct, at, uh, no co comment Commenting. at this point. Um, she has also um, said that, she, well, I've asked her, um, is she someone who left or was she pushed? She hasn't responded to those inquiries. So it's not clear at this point. We know that the letter was sent last week, Wednesday. She was asked to reply by Friday. And today the presidency announced that Advocate uh, Bum would be taking over so that he now takes over from her and she's no longer on the cards for this inquiry. Do we know the, the, the process and the structure of all of this going forward now? Well, in terms of the kind of process moving forward, we still need a date on when things will get underway and uh, there have been concerns as well again from Moyane and his lawyer on this issue of oral evidence. So another letter that was sent to two state prosecutors last week, the same time they sent this letter to Reagan, raised the issue of not being allowed to do cross-examining and oral testimony during the inquiry and unless that's passed by the set of people who are leading it. So that's another issue that has been raised by Moyane and his lawyers. But at least in terms of what the president has said and also his comments today around a Reagan and now the new appointment of the head of the disciplinary inquiry, they're not entertaining this issue of oral testimony and they're also confident that things will move forward in an unbiased fashion, although Ramaphosa was not convinced that uh, a Reagan would have been biased uh, now that they have a new head of the inquiry. And the substantive nature of the inquiry itself, what does it look so there are 12 charges against Tom Moyane, the suspended commissioner of SARS. They uh, all fall under different acts of law, including the South African Revenue Service Act, the Public Financial Management Act and the like, and concern uh, some of the bonuses that were given to senior executives of SARS under his leadership, including Makwakwa. And the Makwakwa matter is also going to be in Parliament on Wednesday of this week. Serious concerns over millions of rand handed over to Makwakwa, even though suspended under Moyane's leadership. So it's all about the money.